There we go. Hi guys. Hi. It's Carol and Casey and Toby. Uh, I was just telling Casey, I, I know he has no idea what we're doing, but when I get the camera out and the tripod, he wants to be right here. Molly hates the tripod. She dives under the couch. But anyway, this is what Monday. Andy doesn't care either way. Yes, it's Monday. My can opener broke Friday, I guess. I guess. I <clears> bet <throat> I've had four or five of those kind that it's a manual can opener that you go like that and put it on the can because they're cheap. <laughs> And well, actually, they're not cheap, but no. Anyway, mine died after my after several. The last one's now died. So I ordered. Casey ordered from Amazon for me a can opener. It's called Yes You Can Auto Electric Can Opener. This was recommended for senior citizens. Um, too bad I don't have a picture. It's kind of sits on top of the can and you push well, the button. Well, here, I'll open it while you talk and okay. show them something else. Where's the keys? Oh, you didn't get them, did you? I didn't get it. Okay. Um, okay. My grandkids have been with their one of their other grandmas uh, for yeah, a couple like weeks. Like a luau. Yes. And I, I went in Dollar Tree for something else. But, you know, they have party stuff as you go in the door. And so I always wanted one of these. <laughs> I never have had. So I thought, you know what? We'll just have a school's out, summer starting party when they come home to make them feel special that they came home. So I got Taylor a pink one, although her favorite color is teal. And I got Rhett a blue one. I don't think Rhett will wear. <laughs> oh, he will too. Uh, <coughs> they had a beautiful teal one, but I wanted this one for red, and oh, the teal ones had like half as many flowers, and they were smaller. So I had to get one of the same kind, so they, because, you know, everything has to be equal. So I got Taylor a pink one and Rhett the blue one. Yeah. They'll have fun. If Rhett won't wear it, you can wear it, Mom. I know he will. And oh, those are cute. These are plastic, you know, you can wash them. Uh, tray, I thought we could have... <coughs> Uh, they like pinwheels. Uh, uh, oh, Andy, flour, it is not dinner time yet. Flour tortillas with cream cheese and green cheese oh. and cheese. And Sorry, we always start a video at 6.30 when Andy thinks it's Yes, yeah, oh. 6.30. Between now and 7, he's going to make that noise till we feed him. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I thought we could put salsa in one, oh. queso in the other, and chips cute. and those roll-ups. Yes. Oh, so I got they'll it. love that. That's their favorite meal is roll-ups. They yeah. love roll-ups. Often with pasta salad. I don't like that combination, but <laughs> they like pasta salad and roll-ups. We'll do roll-ups and chips, and they love queso. And I got a congratulations card for my daughter-in-law. Oh, I got this for Rhett to go with his sh very cute shoe plate. And this for Taylor. Oh, that's pretty. Too bad they didn't have a lid that color. But Taylor will still like it. I hope so. Um, I went after that card. Whatever it went in In case you know, I have that one hook okay. So I got us each and two bags of those. And Toby. Our dogs have to have treats and I just buy this kind because they're cheap. Uh, Casey bought some. Why don't you get those? Your treats. Oh, Amazon has some treats on sale and it's blue something. It's not blue buffalo, but it's, I don't know. I don't know what it is, but Andy and Toby love them. Molly do not, but they're a little healthier because they're like the first three ingredients are food, not chemicals or the first three ingredients of this is chicken, soy flour, and corn syrup, and then wheat flour. Now, I'm not really good for them, but yeah. Molly will only eat a treat if it's like the size of my baby finger now. I mean, it cannot be very big. So, uh, and yes, we break off a tiny piece, but she still just does not like those at all. Yeah, Casey, she would, they have a very strong smell. She did not want anything to do with that. Okay. That's well, that'll be it. They will think that's fun, Mom. All right, here's her can opener. And then it cuts it on the side so it's not sharp. Is that right? Is that what that yeah, is? Yeah, it's supposed to not be sharp. Not, I don't know how. It's supposed to not be sharp, yeah. 
All right, it says start, press down, press again, wait for one second to release blade. Push down to change batteries. Did it come with batteries? Of course not. We need batteries, but. Oh, I wish I'd known that when I went in Dollar Tree, but I probably have some. Oh, when you bought it, I said, do you have double A batteries? And you said yes. So, oh, okay. So, maybe she do. does. Who knows? <laughs> I have no memory of <laughs> things. I got the plants mm -hmm. outside. I'm really scared about putting them outside because I don't have my fence up yet. I'm afraid somebody will steal them. Um, Which is possible. Here, we really don't have a problem with people stealing things off patios. But it Patties, does happen. And Sandy's had one planted in a pot outside several years ago, and they oh, somebody that stole stolen? it. Yes. Isn't that crazy? Um, and I know I've seen videos on the Nextdoor app. I don't know if y'all have that, but a lot of times somebody will say, somebody stole, you know, a plant or lawn furniture off or of some there. kind of decoration off their yeah, porch. Yeah, it's just crazy it's that people just go up to somebody's porch and steal something off of it. Anyway, there's the magnet. I think that'll work good. I hope so. I hope Me it'll last too. a long time. I hope it, the batteries last a long time. You don't have to buy a new battery every... <coughs> Pardon me. Anyway, I've got my flowers planted. I'll stick in a picture. And then we repotted... Uh, Casey's geranium, uh, not geranium, Casey's ivy mm -hmm. and my ivy. My ivy, I was able to divide into two pots. So now I have two big ivy oh, plants. Did you post that video? Not yet. I'm going to oh, stick it on here. Okay. Um, don't forget to take oh, your you're being good boys. Years home. Yes. Go I grab, your, that, go grab okay. that and I'll show them how we well, here, rooted it. that. It had long roots on it. Like The roots were like an inch and a half long. This was a piece these were really small. This, this is the plant one. I already showed you that I got for my daughter-in-law. Well, it had um, a long thing on it. We broke that off, and it had like inch and a half roots. They were more like, ow, one inch or half an inch, I thought. I they weren't very were... big, but yeah. they were still, anyway, it's a little crooked, but... Uh, this, I gave this to Casey. This I figure it'll grow. Thing, and when there her we plant go. gets big, she can break off a piece and give me a new. Yes. I'll have one. Yes. Oh, no, oh, Toby. So Sorry. that's all we know today. I'm going to turn this off since the dogs are going to start barking. <laughs> He's smiling. He's, he thought he told us something. Yes. <laughs> okay, hope you guys are doing good. Bye. Talk to you later. Here are my plants. I have one sub who is blind, so I'm going to try to describe these for her. This is the piece we broke off my daughter-in-law's plant. It's called a pearl and jade pothos. It's a house plant. And this is the piece that Casey planted in that blue pot. And then when it gets bigger, she'll break me off a piece, and then I'll plant one for me. Okay, now I'm planting my geraniums. I didn't have to buy pots or potting soil this year. Because we ha on my patio, we have an outside closet, and I have garden stuff in there. I had two brand new bags of potting mix and pots from years past. Plus, these two new ones I bought new last year and never used them. The new pots are white with a brown uh, tray on the bottom, and they're self-watering. They have a wick that goes in there. I hope I don't drown my geraniums. That's what I usually do is drown them, so I'm hoping those will work real well. And then I have some clay colored pots that are plastic that I'm putting the rest of the geraniums in. And then I have a couple of real clay pots. The colors of the geraniums I got are white, dark red, coral, fuchsia, light pink, and then a light pink that has kind of a hot pink design in the middle. That's called a light pink big eye. The reason I was potting them in my living room is I put up a card table and I put an old shower curtain that I had saved just for things like this, put that plastic shower curtain over the table, and we pretty much kept the potting soil on the um, shower curtain. This is a long skinny planter with my moss rose in it. I think the real name of that is Portaluca. And here's all my things potted. There's a new spider plant in the middle there. 
This is called Moonlight Pink. Oh, I'm showing you the rock. That rock was in a bag of potting mix that was not miracle Grow, And then I found another rock about the same size in the bag of miracle Grow. <laughs> I'm going to try real hard not to drown these geraniums, and hopefully I can bring them in in the fall and keep them alive over the winter, and then I'll put them back outside again. I'm going to try anyway. Here's my plants out on my patio. Uh, as I said, the wind was blowing crazy that day. I put them out here just for a little while, and the white geranium just about lost all its petals. <laughs> and one of the big red, dark red ones, that, that one in the center, it lost all of its blooms because the wind was just blowing ferocious. But it's a pretty day. Um, today we and yesterday we were... Our high was in the mid 80s, so really nice if the wind weren't blowing so hard. But anyway, I'm going to enjoy those plants out there if nobody steals them. I looked up online how to take care of the plant that I got for my daughter-in-law, and I didn't know this. I, I got it to congratulate her on starting a business. Here's the description I found on the internet. Pearls and Jade Pothos isn't just a pretty face. It's steeped in meaning. Pearls symbolize wisdom. Jade represents prosperity. Together, they're a powerhouse of positive vibes. I like that. Okay, this is really the end. I hope you guys are doing good. Let me know what's going on in your world. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.